Hi guys, so today I'll be making a review of iOS 9.3.2 Beta 1 on the iPod Touch 5th generation. So according to the update, it is to bring some minor improvements, so let's try it out. Let's do a benchmark test on the iPod Touch. So here we have the result of 209 for the single core and 407 for the multi-core. So let's try the actual performance of the iPod Touch. Let's first try Spotlight Search. There we go. And now let's type a sample here. And there we go. Okay, let's try another one. Um, notification Center. And there we go. Just a small lag, but it's good enough. Okay, let's try control center and still the same result. Okay, let's try running some apps such as camera. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five seconds for this one. Photos. One, two, three, three seconds. Let's try the calendar application. One, two, two seconds. Let's try the clock application. One, two, two seconds. And the weather application. One, two, three, four. All right, let's just try working with some apps. Let's first work with iMovie. And try to edit this video okay let me just add a text right here and standard and let me tap it okay tap it again okay and oh finally we got a response and now we could edit this whatever we want. Okay, let's try another application. Okay, let's work with Photoshop Fix and load an image. I'll take this for an example. Okay. And there we go, we could work with the image. Looks like everything here looks responsive. Okay, let's try another application. Okay, let's try to work with pages right here and reopen this document. And there you go, the document is now open. Okay, almost forgot. Some people do ask me how well it performs in terms of playing games. So let's try out Fruit Ninja here. And let's wait for it to open. And as you can see right here, it's having a hard time loading the app. And there we go, we have Fruit Ninja open. Okay, now let's try to play. Let's just choose your arcade. Okay, let's close this one first. Okay, now let's play again. Okay, there we go. As you can see, there's a small lag, but Okay, there is really a visible lag when you're playing this game. But it's not that bad. Let's try another. The only thing that you would find here visible is the app that is having a hard time opening apps. And there we go. We finally have the game fully loaded. Now let's try to play a sample game
okay as you can see right here that the iPod touch can pretty well perform this game so I guess not all games perform that slow the iPod touch 5th generation was released on September 2012 and now it's already 2016 so we do expect the iPod touch will get old and in a way slow down even with that we do expect the iPod touch can still perform some tasks and is capable of still editing videos, editing pictures, and playing some games properly. So that is it guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.